what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson before and guess what i'm bringing you guys a classic game and um it is modern warfare 3 modern warfare 3 guys the place where i achieved so many things i mean i can talk about so many things that i did uh so many people that i met my clan um the weapon my records you know so many things that i did it's just a long ass story to write i mean I don't even know what to start from, but I'm going to say this, guys. I will admit, when I came back after like a month of not playing this game, well, actually, I just want to say this, you know, the last time I played, like, trying hard, you know, like you people say, trying hard, uh, uh, what else, you know, full-time, was uh, right before the Black Ops 2 release. You know, that's the last time, you know, I actually went full-time, like, and, and full speed ahead, you know, I didn't, I wanted to fucking dominate, that's the last time. That's the last time I even tried to do that, so... Um, yeah, it has been like a year or two years since I last tried so hard in Modern Warfare 3 in order for me to, you know, do very good. So, um, and also, sometimes I don't even try and I still do good. So, it's just like 50-50 sometimes. But yeah, it has been a long time and uh, coming back from that, <laughs> god damn it, I can't even get used to my sensitivity. Because I usually play in max. I play in max sensitivity. I don't care if you know if I do kind of badly in my first time but I'll, I'll just go for it because I want to go back to where I was so so yeah I mean it took me a while it took me like around five games to get back to max and you know god damn it by my fifth game I was already dominating I was taking out people before they even take me down I mean they saw me first but god damn 180 turn them around and kill them that's how fast I am so so yeah, and also why uh, my character's so twitchy right now is because I recorded this off the theater mode. That's another thing that really kind of sucked. It didn't actually record the live moments. It actually records like how it looks from another person's view. So, so yeah, that's why it's kind of twitchy and kind of missing the shots. So if I were to record it live, it would look better. But man, I needed to, you know, kind of relax and not have any pressure. So, so yeah, that's why I sometimes don't record it. Just record it off the theater mode. But anyways, um. This game was filled with action. It was filled with action. The kill streaks were cool. Um, I scored um, what else? The juggernaut. Um, the explosions were incredible. The go the dust. You can see the freaking dust go off, and sometimes it was annoying because I couldn't see shit every time it goes off. Um, the dust goes up and stuff, and um, you know it was just filled with action. But I know right now, guys, you guys, you guys are gonna just point out the flaws. Like for example, oh, talk about the lag, talk about you know the the matchmaking and stuff. Yes, I do admit, the lag was kind of terrible, and that's what kind of brought down the game because um, the matchmaking will actually match you with people from Europe. That's what I don't fucking get. How can I be matched with people from Europe if I'm not even close, man? Keep it close region and shit. I was matching with people from Europe and from China. Actually, I did play with people from China and no, not China, uh, Japan, Japan, I think, Japan and Korea, which is pretty much insane. Which I wasn't even supposed to be matchmaking with those, because it will lag you the hell out of the freaking lobby. It will. So, so yeah, I mean, the matchmaking was kind of terrible. The lag, yeah, it affected a lot of the game, and that's why you know I think Modern Warfare 2 is still the best. That's why. Even though I only played like for a few games, Modern Warfare 2 is still beast, man. It's beast. If they would have fixed the lag in this game, the matchmaking, this game would have actually competed against Modern Warfare 2 and maybe consider them as twin games or something because that would have been that good. Um, so yeah, I mean, Modern Warfare 3 to me is still legendary though. I mean, I did so much in this game. For example, the clan that I was in, Damage Inc., we ended up being ranked in the top 50 in the whole world. Top 50. And then we collapsed after the month of July because of some certain people and the the leader was kicking everybody out. It was just done because, you know, without the rest of the guys, we pretty much wouldn't got to, to rank 50. So it's a long story between me and my clan. It's just a really, um, not disturbing, but like kind of a dick move by some certain people. And I don't know, it's just a lot of drama that happened. And uh, I would like to talk about it like in one video, like the whole thing. But um, it's not going to be anytime soon. I mean, uh, this, these still, these guys are still around and in my YouTube and still watching my videos. So I'm not going to mention any game, any names. I mean, I'm not going to mention any names or any people at all right now. Maybe like till in a year or, or so, because I still know this whole story and what actually happened and why people were getting kicked and stuff like that, and why I left a few times to climb because of some bullshit. But anyways, yeah, we were ranked top 50 in the whole world with the clan. Um, I was ranked in the top four thousands and the most kills in the whole world. 
I ended up getting like 145,000 kills in the whole year. Whole fucking year. The previous game, Black Ops 1, only got like 37,000. So it is a big major, you know, change between games and stuff. So, I mean, I achieved so much stuff also. And my favorite gun from Modern Warfare 3, guys, I cannot go wrong with this one. It has to be the P90. No recoil on the hip fire. Um, it was pretty much rangy, you know, it can, it can reach kind of like the range of a, an assault rifle if you had it right, but it can turn bipolar at the same time, you know, it will change up its its freaking aim and stuff. So, so yeah, I mean, I only use the P90 for every single kind of situation, long range, short range, big maps, small maps, you know, every kind of situation. The DLC maps from this game were pretty much okay. I don't really, you know, consider them as bad as uh, Black Ops 2 or Call of Duty Ghost. Um, they were actually okay. You know, they, they tried, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm accepting. They're, they're pretty much okay. Like Oasis and fucking, you know, um, the one that I really miss is Piazza, man. Piazza was actually a good map. I don't know about you guys. Piazza really got me. It was a pretty good map. Um, several other ones, too. Well, there's a factory. That one was pretty good. So, that's about it, guys. Modern Warfare 3. Hope you guys like the gameplay. If you guys miss it. Please tell me in the comment section why you miss it and what do you miss doing in Modern Warfare 3 besides trolling, of course, because a lot of people are going to say trolling. So anyways, if you guys want to see more classic gameplays, please subscribe and leave a like.